Well, this is so exciting. We are landing in Canada Day Week. Canada Day is on Wednesday, but we're celebrating for a whole week here at Fateen.tv. There are some exciting things happening this week. And right uh, with me right now to talk about it is Art Lucier from Harvest Ministries International and the Battle for Canada. Thanks for joining me, Art. Always a pleasure, Fateen. Always. Well, you love Canada. We love Canada. That's why I'm smiling so much. I'm, I, this is one of my favorite weeks of the year. Uh, but there's something happening this week uh, called the National Day of Prayer. It's going to be a full eight hours of prayer fasting for Canada. And we're also, or you're also going to be launching a 24-7 online prayer room for Canada. It's going to be running for a full year. Tell our viewers about it and how they can get involved. Well, it was a high and lofty initiative, but we felt the Lord say, do it. We started two months ago. It's come together. At what, If you're seeing this video right now, just before Canada Day, there might be a spot or two left on the wall. But out of the 168 hours, we have a, close to 168 teams that are going to be a part of a 24-7 virtual prayer room that are going to pray for four main pillars starting July 1st. Uh, ending of abortion, godly government, revival and reformation in the nation, and then praying for every region of Canada. Fateen, this is a C to C, north to south initiative. We've divvied up Canada into eight regions. We have eight leaders, and they all have watchmen under them. And so if, like when Pat Francis got a hold of me, she goes, well, what would be my region? Ontario, I said, no, well, you're GTA. I'm Kelowna, so when, when it's my prayer hour, I'm going to be praying for the Okanagan region. And so when my kids are on their prayer hour, prayer, they're praying for Kinemet. We're going to hit every region in the nation for, for a full year and just see what things look like in a year from now. Well, that's amazing. So you mentioned that there's people that are leading the prayer times. How about people that just want to participate? Can anyone who's watching this, can they get on their computer? Can they pick up a phone, dial a number, and actually join in with this 24-7 prayer room? Okay, so... Right after the National Day of Prayer, which we're going to talk to you about, on Canada Day, we're going to be launching for the public the Canadian Firewall. You're going to go to www.canadianfirewall.ca. You're going to have a link to the wall. And it's going to look just like me and Fateen here right now praying. There might be three people, five people, ten people, every hour on the hour. This is anyone can watch Fateen. They can even chat. They can throw their prayer requests in there. They're not necessarily going to get on with their video on their mic, but they're going to see it. Are you bored? Is there nothing on Netflix? Like, can you, maybe you don't sleep at night really well. Click the link. Get on the firewall. Come and pray with us. It's open for everyone. It's not hidden. This is, um, this is for everyone. That's amazing. And so it's going to be launched on Wednesday, July the 1st, right after the National Day of Prayer. Okay, so this is going to be uh, five hours specifically focused on praying for Canada. Three yeah. hours prior to that, different global voices, uh, Cindy Jacobs, Rick Ridings, Dr. Pat Francis will be bringing some exhortation. Where can people find out about the National Day of Prayer and register for that? Yeah, so you do need to register for this. Most of you are, this is not new to you. Fateen's done a few of these already. They've been just amazing to bring the nation together. It's nationaldayofprayer.ca. Nationaldayofprayer.ca. You need to register. You'll get a link and you'll be able to see for eight hours global leaders for the first three hours, like Fateen said. Pat Francis, a Canadian, will be leading the global for three hours, handing it over to our team to lead for the next five hours. So that's 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, eight hours of National Day of Prayer. And you'll, you'll see, all, you'll, you'll hear all about it, the, the, uh, even the prayer wall during our National Day of Prayer and get, be able to join in with us. So that's nationaldayofprayer.ca. Register there. Amazing. And so we're going to have the National Day of Prayer. And then right when that closes, the firewall opens up and we're going to be praying 24-7 for Canada. Wow. Art, in just in a sentence, what are you expecting as the church in Canada comes together to pray for a full year 24-7? I believe a lot of our prayers that we have prayed are going to get answered in the future. Like, I believe a lot of the prayers that we're praying now for the ending of abortion, godly government, revival, I believe it's on our doorstep. I believe this is one solid good push near the end to see this happen, to see our prayers come to pass. That's what I truly believe, Fateen. I really do. 
Amazing. So nationaldayofprayer.ca, firewall, canadianfirewall.ca or .com? Yeah, no, .ca, canadianfirewall.ca. In, in, in fact, if you're watching this, there might be a couple hours left on the wall. Go there and see and join us. We don't want any gaps on the wall. So join, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Art Lucy, for mobilizing 24-7 Prayer for Canada. I know it's going to make a huge difference. We believe so, Fatine. God answers prayer.